Hi everyone, it's Gail and it is Wednesday, so it's Marguerite Miller Collage Day. And so we're going to do that and then we're going to play a little bit with those scraps we've dyed earlier in the week. So um, let's get started. Let's say hi and hugs to Lark, On The Way Craft, Pixie Fix, and Linda. Thank you so much for watching and your kind comments. Okay, so I made a little switcheroo. The next page that, we, that, that was in the book was this one. And I couldn't see how I was going to fit what I needed on this. And I want to preserve this page. So I don't know. It may move back, move back, move back until there's something that works with this whole picture because I just can't cover that up. So I switched over to this one. This one is um, just has some roses, which may or may not. Let's see. Let's maybe we can just do this. Um, the roses may or may not stay. I don't know. <laughs> so what we have this time is we have a photo and I had this little old vintage photo that I thought might be kind of fun. Something in a garage. I have this, um, this car. This is from Tracy Fox Love Jug Journals Mega Kit. And so that I had already fussy cut. Um, a rubber stamp used in two different colors. I grabbed this stamp. It's from Ruby Rocket. It's called Bolt. And it has stitching and other sewing stuff. And I grabbed that because the other thing is a sewing item. And I have this little faux sewing envelope, digital. And then I have this that um, came off Rick Rack that I used yesterday. And then headline, I cut this out of um, an old newspaper in 1973. It says, what's the latest on the farm scene? I don't know. It was the best I could do. <laughs> and then random pieces of washi, which... I don't know, looking at these colors, I'm thinking a Tim Holtz is what we might do. Like this one has the green and a little bit of red. Um, just looking to see if there's any other one that we might want. What's this one? This one is tickets, it might be fun too, okay. So I think we're ready. So let's go for it so that we end up having some time to do some other things. Oh, what color of ink do I want to use? Because I have to use two. So um, I'm looking at my archivals here. I think I'll pull out that green. And so this is fern green and red geranium. I think I'll use those two. Okay, so I have no idea in what way we're going to put these on here, but um, let's let's give this a quick cutout first. So hope everyone's having a good day. I am. This is this is my second video. Today, I did one this morning on the blue Victorian journal, the start to finish series that I'm doing on that. And then had lunch. Oh, my husband. I didn't even hear him leave the house, but he brought home Eros for lunch. So I was excited. Um, and then, then I came down, got my last journal of my retreat listed so hopefully by the time this airs all those journals will be off to their forever homes and oh i could put that on as a pocket hmm almost hate to 
cover up this part though because it's just kind of fun also. Maybe I'll do the thing where I clip it on. And anyways, yeah, got that listing done. And meanwhile, got a message from one of my pals that's going to be able to come to my July retreat. I'm so excited. Okay, so, so I guess this is how we do this. Excuse my, my finger is still turquoise from dyeing those papers yesterday. Oh, I have more to do today. So maybe I'll have some matching fingernails by the time I'm done today. So this goes kind of like that. Let's see. Kind of like that. Okay. And then this. Or I can make it a flip. I could put that on the back side and go. I think that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to put this in there. My um, my requirements, my prompts. That's what they're called. So yeah, it's been a great day so far. That was just such great news. I actually started to cry when I found out my friend was going to get to come. Oh, so good. Um, let's see. Do I want to? Maybe a little bit on this one too. Just, It's going to be over on the other side. Might get covered up with the next day's um, the next day's prompts. We don't know. Do I need to anything else maybe I'll do this car a little bit since my fussy cutting always leaves a little bit of white um, maybe a little vintage photo on this vintage photo <laughs> oh such a dork okay all right so so I want this on the top that's, and I do, I do kind of love the, okay, I think I might do that, and then I might put this across there, okay, a plan's come together, I think I'll go middle with that, okay, I need to glue it shut first, so, um, let's see, that can be glued down. And then I'm going to go here and I'm going to go on the edge of this and the edge of this. Okay, oops, got a little extra glue that is not needed right there. Um, I'm sorry off the top of my hand. Uh, top of my hand or hand or head either one I can't tell you where I got this I just I don't know so yeah I'm just gonna put that right there so um so if this is one of your digitals please say something in the comments Okay. Okay, that's fine. And so this, actually the whole thing fits across there, doesn't it? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that down and then we'll figure out the other little pieces. Maybe we'll that a little even more vintaging than it already has okay glue stick 
yeah so anyway good day all around i got some home things done this morning that were on my mind so that was good i have a few more things this afternoon i feel like i need to get done but i'm gonna play first priorities you know <laughs> Okay, so that's on there. Now it's a matter of deciding where we would like where we would like these. I like that there, but I might like that this there too. I need to straighten this up a little. I was cutting it out of the newspaper itself and it was hard to do. And we don't need all of that either. Okay. So would I rather have that there? I could put that just kind of there over those. And this is the girl who, she's reading this book, A Rosy Path. And somebody made these crepe flowers for her. It was so nice of them. I think I'm going to put that right there. And then we'll do stamping and washi and stuff. Okay. We've got the plan. It is really interesting. Somebody pointed it out, too, in the, in the comments that it feels a lot easier to do one page than it did doing the two pages in the um, planner thing. Oh, her name's Elizabeth Ann. Aren't you cute, Elizabeth Ann? I don't know. I hope my glue stick will hold this properly. If it doesn't, I'll go back with some art glitter on it. Okay, put you right there, Elizabeth Ann. She's got her hat on, but she's also got her apron on. Because, you know, when you're out and about, you never know when you're going to get messy. Okay, so that kind of covers them up, but that's okay. Um, let's see, and then this I'm going to just put right down there, okay. And then what I thought I would do is with these, let me get my acrylic thingamajiggy block, my acrylic block, and let's do this one. Okay, stitching. Got stitching. Okay, so, and actually, you know, you don't have to do the bonus thing unless you um, can't find something in one of the requireds. I mean, you're not required to do the bonus thing, but I always like to. I don't know. I just like to. Okay, I'm going to go right here with this. Oh, cute. Okay. Um, let's stamp that off. And then we'll do red down here. I like being able to have the pretty um, roses show. There's that. All right. So we did our stamping into colors. That is taken care of. 
I was thinking about maybe putting the scissors in this too, but there's not really a spot that works well for them. So I'm just going to not overachieve here and leave that. <laughs> okay, so um, then the washi. The washi. Uh, let's see here. Washi tape. Well, that little corner doesn't want to stick down, so give it a little bit of this. But I think what I might do is with this one, find the end of it. I'm going to tape these like they're, you know, like they're taped on there or something. Okay, and then, so I just want small pieces. I do find these Marguerite Millers fun. I mean, I do think it just stretches your creativity in a way that, you know, you just don't necessarily use every day. So, I think I'm going to put a couple of pieces right down that area. Washi tape's a nice way to Kind of add something anyway, but when it's part of the prompts, all the better. Yikes. Kind of slippery. Okay. I think I might like just a little bit up in the corner of the newspaper. This way. Like that. One small piece, this green is calling to me. That makes me have seven, which makes me happier anyway. Okay, so there it is. Let's see, we've got a photo. We've got something in a garage. We've got rubber stamp in two colors. We've got a headline. We've got a sewing item and bonus pieces of washi tape. And then we're just going to pop this. Well, maybe. <laughs> now we're going to pop it in there. We're going to just pop that in there. That flips down. Ta-da! There is week seven. Man, oh man. Okay. So there we go. Let's see. Where's my book? I'll just kind of put it in the book. And I like how this page goes with the page across from it. That has been happening, which has been a total random thing. But yeah. Yay. Okay. Done with that. Oh, did I forget to lock at the time? I did. Oh, dag nabbit. I did. I forgot. Okay. Well, we are going to say, we are going to say that took us like 15, 20 minutes probably. So I'm going to say like 1.30-ish we better be done or something. 
Okay. Okay, but what I wanted to do here next is, I'm just moving things out of the way here, um, is get out my little, my new little folio of these fun scraps. And I wanted to just have a bit of a play with these um, various things just to just see how we like them. So the first thing I wanted to do is I wanted to take my Carrie Art Journal and and do a little collaging on one of these pages. Oh gosh, all of a sudden I'm out of breath. Sorry guys. Well there's my there's my done page. I wonder if we could Let's do this page and this page with these cool scraps. Um, do I have, I do use my little book weight to just kind of keep it open. My spine is a little stiff because I haven't, you know, I haven't used it that much. Okay, well, this piece I want to have over here because I think it looks with these so we might do that um, we might end up doing this little bit first why not no rules you know no rules like that could be a good corner piece I think these are gonna be super fun to play with where did my book go oh right here get myself so that I have some room here okay <laughs> let's let's just do a little collaging with these cool pieces I love them I do I do I do such a great idea Louisa And I've been wanting to work in my carry journal anyhow. Okay, I want something for down in that corner. Okay, I've got this cool thing. I could almost just make that go all the way over. Where is my tear ruler, or this ruler? Okay. Yeah, so what a great day. Got to and got to play in my carry journal, which I've been wanting to do ever since I made it. So in the spirit of my this year's doing what I want to do. <laughs> I'm a doing it. As I said when I showed these, it was really fun to see how each of the different batches came out because they were um, they were all different because I, I grabbed different colors to use and stuff. I'm kind of feeling like I want this to be the f focal point-ish, and so I think I'll do the rest of the gluing prior to that. Have that be the last thing. Oh my gosh, that's neat on both sides. Okay. And you know, if I put these down, I don't know. I mean, one would think, yes, that's the background, but I don't know if I want to put anything over the top of them. They're so pretty. I 
Okay. And we just need a zoop, little piece down there. What's this? I think that could fit the bill. I need to rip this a little straighter just to get it down that side. I'm just going to use the music as my guide here. Just, just a tiny bit, not too much. There we go. Okay. That. I'm going to tear off that bit because it's not that interesting. Make it more interesting if it's kind of a, a funny tear. So I wanted to do this and then I wanted to see if I could use them on some ephemera pieces. You know, see how that... See how that looked? Oh, I'm very happy. I think that's really cool. I guess you could, you know, even just put a word or phrase on these just to... But I just think that's gorgeous to look at just as it is. That is fun. Yes. Mmm. Yummy. Okay, let's do... See if we can do this page. Which, I have some bigger pieces that might be fun to use. Like, this was my favorite piece. And so, you know what? I think I'm going to put that right down there. Might need a little bit of something at the bottom. We could even use washi tape. But look at that. Oh, gosh, be still my heart. Okay, I'm going to put that down that edge because it's just my favorite. It's uh, It was on coffee dyed paper. And see, here's the... Here's the printing, but I did the reverse side. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Absolutely love it. It's like getting something for Christmas and you can't wait to play with it. Getting these all, getting these all created. It's like, oh my God, I just have to play with them. Oh my gosh, it fits perfectly. I'm gonna use my use my this. Use my little card. Oh, I love that. I'm just deciding do I do I wanna put more on that or do I just wanna keep it? This one got crinkled. Hmm. That one was sort of lightly distressed. You know, I mean, it didn't get a lot. I kind of like that. Gosh, you guys, I can't decide if I want to leave that first. I think I'm going to stop there. I don't know. I don't know why, but my, my whatever, my artistic intuition, whatever you would want to call it, is saying stop there. And leave that be the star of the show. 
I could do like a um, stencil there. I don't know. I don't have to finish it today. I'm happy with what I did. And I think we'll just leave it at that for another day. I may come up with something that fits perfectly right there that I want right there. So, yay, I did my first thing with there. So, that's that's happy. That makes me very happy. I like that little strip down the side. I think so pretty. And now I've preserved my very favorite piece from that from that dyeing session. I have uh, about this many scraps left in my box to do. So, but I thought we might grab the to-do box. Let me get rid of a couple of things here. Don't need that. Don't need that. Okay. And let's make room for the to-do box. Because I just think this paper might be kind of cool collaged on some things. Let's see. What do we have? I've got this. This is from Natasha. Feel free to cover and use this tag. <laughs> so I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. I'm just going to kind of put... Need a little something right there. Like that. Ooh. Except I have a little bit right there that needs. Let's see. Let's see if we have one that says I need to go there. This is kind of a cool one. I don't want it to be straight though, necessarily. How about this one? Yes. So, do I want it on top or do I want it underneath? Then becomes the question. I like that. I'm going to just do this because there's no sense in wasting it underneath, is there? Well, let's just play with this card a little bit. I will say I do absolutely love how these came out. Oh, I know. I keep saying it, but I keep thinking it. Okay, there's writing clear to the bottom. Oh, you know what I might do? So I might tear that and I might fold it over. So I have a spot of scraps on my table behind me where I think I'll um, I'll kind of store this store this paper. Uh, it's in its little pouch, but I really need to. Um, do kind of a redo on that that basket with all the scraps in it. That's for another day, I guess. Okay. So then what would we like to do with this little card? Love that. Um, let's ink and think for a second. Uh, 
Um, now it's got paper over the perforation, so that's good. I might put a little Tim Holtz washi right across there as well, just to double hold it. There'll still be plenty of room to write. Let's see, which one would I like? This one, I think. <clears throat> so, anyway, I don't have much to tell you today. I don't have much to talk about. Other than I've had such a happy day. put that across there because then that holds it really well. I'm thinking of a Tim Holtz person and I don't know what else. Let's look here. I don't want, I think I want just a single person because I don't want to cover up the whole background, you know. So let's out let's get out the solos kind of want one of the taller ones because sometimes the taller ones are hard to use kind of but oh he's sitting down I don't want a sitting person. He's not bad, but he needs something to rest his hand on. I like him because he goes over the spot that there's not a lot going on. But again, I'd have to put something for his hand to rest on. You little dude are cute. I don't know what this little thing on his jacket is. Oh, and she's really cute too. There's a lot of them that are sitting. <laughs> Let's just say a lot of them are sitting. Oh, I always like him too. This guy kind of looks like my grandpa on my dad's side. Usually I pick the first Tim Holtz person I come to, but I needed a little thinking about it on this one. Oh my gosh, he's adorable for something smaller. I do think these papers are going to lend themselves well to Tim Holtz because they are, you know, kind of his colors, his, his vibe, if you will. Okay, I'm tempted to go with Grandpa. I think I'm going to go with Grandpa, but I need something right there. don't know if I want, like, a label. Is this my label? Yes, you're right. All of you who have said, Gail, you need to label your sacks. You're right. I do. I do, and I will one of these days in amongst all the other priorities. <laughs> Ooh, what's this one? Oh, I like the red on it because it's... Then there's kind of a thing of red. Let's do it. Um, 
he has a couple pokes that he needs to have poked out which is all the better because you'll be able to see the background okay yeah I think so this is bugging me because it's a little white so I'm just gonna hit it a little bit with my distressor yep okay let's do this thing and I've used up a lot of my Tim Holtz sort of ephemera in um, in both my accordion journal and my grungy journals so it's good to be making a little more and I've had that tag in my stash to reuse for I don't know how long so thank you Natasha we finally reused it But that's also why we have such a hard time throwing things away. <laughs> because we'll use it one day. I think I like some. In this little drawer, I have bits of fabric, and I know I've got Tim Holtz in here. That would be good. Or the tag topper. Wonder if I can tie a bow with this. We'll see. Yes, yes, we can. Okay, there's a cute little tag. That's fun. Okay, so we did one one little piece of ephemera, but that's good because I just I just kind of wanted to see how it would how it would do. Let's see what there else is in here that could use a bit of that. Ooh, this is one of Carrie. The crafters digitals and it's pretty pretty neutral oh I see one that I think I might like to put on here at least a piece of it got texture paste on it and everything I don't know I feel like it covers up too much Okay, I like that better because you can see all the elements of the tag. I'm just going to tear this off slightly. Like that. Let's do it. I don't know where it's going to go, but let's do it. You know, I think. <laughs> she 
piece of, I want something on the edge of it. Like not just this piece sitting on top. Um, I got book page and stuff over here. Ooh, look at that one. It's a nice color, isn't it? You know this edge is going in the stamp on it bin. That's cool. My stamp on it bin has once again grown to epic proportions. <laughs> And I have to, and I'm not going to be home this weekend to do any, you know, TV crafting like I usually do on the weekend. So, I don't know. Yep, I like that better. Just needed something to ground it a little bit. Okay. So yeah, I feel like I have a busy afternoon ahead of me doing more of the dyeing. But I want to get it done so I can clean up the mess so I can do a craft room tour. Working hard to clean up the mess. I'm sure there'll be there'll be more mess to take its place before I can get a video done, no doubt, but you know, <laughs> I'm going to give it a give it the old college try right about there let's put this down see if we can get this one finished okay and, and I'm conscious of having the writing the right side up and down Okay. Ew, I like that. Okay, now I'm wanting one of my people again. Might like her. I'm liking the pink in it. I put her right there. I think I could. And then we need something up in that area. I'm not sure what yet. I just love it. My husband whistles. And I always know he's happy. Like when he's in the kitchen cooking and stuff, he whistles. I love it. Don't know if I've ever told him that, but I do. Just kind of makes me know he's he's doing what he wants to do and happy too, just like me. Okay, so we definitely need something there. <laughs> what are we feeling? A word? What do we have that would be good? see. I don't know if any of these kind ones would fit. Ooh, just having a hard time getting that one open. But let's look. Definitely would need to be grungied up. It's going to fit in, but let's just see once it's grungied what we think. I like it. I don't know if it makes me go... Woohoo! That's perfect. Ooh, what's this one? Hmm. I don't know. For 
some reason I'm not feeling it. So we'll just carry on and see what else we have. Maybe one of this might all be too big. Don't know. I like that better. Hmm. I also was wondering about Saturday stamp or just some random label that doesn't really Boy Scouts of America doesn't really fit. <laughs> um, going with just weird numbers. Nope. Charming's the best so far. I need to look at pink monarch prints just for a second. Oh, maybe one of these. That's it. I'm really liking these little cases. I got these at uh, the old Hobby Lobby. Um, I'm going to put art glitter glue on that just because it's on this texture paste. So, we did a couple labels. Did that fun art journal page. So, feeling good. Feeling happy about the... I do love the paper. Yep, it's going to be a lot of fun to work with. So, we did these two tags. Happy with both of those. And we did our art journal. And um, honestly, I just don't know what I want there. That looks kind of cool, doesn't it? And that I told you I told you that looked like my grandpa. Okay, one minute. One minute. No, maybe more than one minute, but give me a couple minutes. Because <laughs> I'm just going to real quick, like, I'm going to stencil. And I'm going to put this tag in here because it reminds me of my grandpa. Whom I never met, by the way. I've only seen pictures of my of both my paternal grandparent or yeah paternal grandparents did not meet them just my maternal grandparents and didn't get to see much of them either because they were in Iowa and we of course were in Montana so so anyway um yeah, I did not, did not know them. My dad, of course, told stories about them and stuff, but yeah. Yep. Okay, well, I had to continue for a second. <laughs> When something hits you, I think you got you just got to go with it. I'm deciding do I want that thick of a tag now that I'm putting it in here? I don't think I do. 
So we'll save this for something else. And I'm just looking to see. What, oh, I, I know what I can maybe put. Just, oh, yes, perfect. Just grab this out of my scraps. This will be perfect. It's Then it's got a tag, but it's not as bulky. Yeah. Okay, I'm liking that. Okay, we're just gonna art. That's so cute. But, oh well. You can make another tag that looks like that, Gail, if you want. And since this is kind of an art journal of memories of people like my pal Carrie with that other page, you know, why not? Even though it's a memory from a photo. Nothing says you can't put tags in an art journal just like you do a journal journal. Okay, cool. All right, and then that still makes me super happy that. And then there is, there is Grandpa. <laughs> or my symbol for grandpa. Okay, well thanks so much everybody. That's that's not grandma, but I'll use this in a, in a journal, so that'll be perfect. Thank you so much everybody for joining me today. I hope you have a grateful day and we will just see you in the next video. Bye everyone.